Tatania was born the 3rd of October, the year when the president of the Soviet colonies was Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev. She is a very peaceful and quiet childhood. She has no problem with obesity and was very well protected. Bosava Tatiana. Oh! She lived with her family, her dad, her mom, her brother, Uncle Denny and Aunt Tamara, Aunt Natasha and Rosaline, and Grandfather Ivan, Grandmother Anna, and Grandfather Joseph, and Grandmother Teresa. Well, except her Uncle Denny, because he lived now in the West. And except her Grandfather Ivan. Then come a day when Tatiana's life changed forever. So Soviet schemes has on Navichne Chassis! Tatania became a pioneer. And then it came! Tatania saw Lenin! 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 She fell immediately in love and decided that the only man she will marry one day will be Vladimir Ilyich Lenin. With her mind made up, she decided to find him. She asked for advice from one of Vladimir's Ilyich friends. Unfortunately, he was so distant. She was completely lost. Fortunately, her mother gave her some advice. My daughter, said her mother, when you be communist, You'll be big. I want to become a communist. And she started immediately study Marxism. And she study. Hmm. She decided to look for Vladimir in the city. That was an excellent idea, because she never seen so many beautiful buildings and all constructed by Volodya. Finally, one day she came in front of the Vladimir's palace and Vladimir Ilyich Lenin opened the door. Her heart beat, and beat, and beat, and beat, and beat. Yes, Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, love it, Tatania too. They should be so happy together, but suddenly the Velvet Revolution came and everything changed. Tatania never ever saw Vladimir again, so she decided to stay single and never ever marry another man. Many other things changed. For example, the borders. She also met her uncle Denny, but 
she never met her grandfather Ivan, because as her father told her, he died as a political prisoner in the Stalin concentration camp in the southern Czechoslovakia.